Hello Libra, welcome to Truth Well Told Tarot. This is Andrea and I'm here to do your weekly tarot reading for the sign of Libra, Sun, Moon, Rising and Venus and it will be from the 1st to the 7th of March 2021. So let's get straight into your reading, pull your overarching energy as you know we always do by now. Okay, what do we have for Libra please? 1st to the 7th of March 2021. These cards are a little bit chunky, but I do like them. So I'm going to choose the cards because they are a little bit more difficult to manage. Okay, what do we have for Libra, please? Angels, spirits, guides, message for our lovely Librans. Thank you. First to the 7th of March 2021. <clears throat> message for Libra. Thank you. So we have Libra. <laughs> this is your card, the Queen of Swords. We have brilliant, experienced, humorous, judgmental, releasing situations or people that, that no longer serve you, seeing the humor in difficult situations, focusing on career, divorced or unmarried individuals. I mean, that might resonate with some of you. I mean, the Queen of Swords is somebody who gets to the core of a situation. She gets to the truth. She's also a card of somebody who makes balanced judgments, decisions. But as it's appearing as your energy, this is a card of you being back in your element Libra as your overarching energy, being in full control of your domain. There's definitely this energy of reconnecting with you, who you are back in your power, back in your element. Okay, so what do we do? What do we have for Libra, please? Angel Spirits Guide message for our lovely Librans. Thank you. First to the 7th of March. Yeah, we have the situation will improve. I'm definitely getting that energy. And I like the way that this angel is, is heading in the right direction towards the surface. She can see the light, following the light. You know, it's definitely this kind of energy of you're going in the right direction here. You're heading in the right direction. Okay, message for Libra. Sorry, Libra, one second. My microphone's a bit skew if That's better. What do we have for Libra, please? Angels, spirits, guides message for our lovely Librans. Thank you. First to the 7th of March 2021. Message for Libra. Thank you, Angel Spirits Guides. We have number 50, Angel of Strength. It's power. This is power energy. That's what I was feeling. Okay, so I'm going to pull three cards. The first card is your challenge. Second card is advice from spirit. Third card is your future outcome. And then we'll clarify the cards and go deeper into the message. And it won't resonate with everybody, so just take what resonates with you. Message for Libra, please. Thank you. Two cards. We have death card, card of Scorpio and the hanged man. Four of Coins, Libra, is advice from Spirit. And we have the Moon, very nice energy there. Okay. So let's clarify the cards and go deeper into the message for Libra. Thank you. What do we have for Libra? Thank you. First to the 7th of March, 2021. Thank you. Let's clarify these cards on the table. Thank you, Angel Spirits Guides. Thank you. Okay, we have Ten of Cups. Four of Coins is clarified with the Knight of Cups. The Moon Energy is clarified with the Fool. Bottom of the deck we have the Ace of Pentacles here, Libra. I'm 
I'm going to clarify this Ten of Cups. Let's clarify this Ten of Cups for Libra. Thank you. Seven of Swords. Okay, Libra. So there's definitely this energy of you being back in your element. I mean, this can be about making sound decisions, choices, balanced decisions, choices, releasing lots of situations that no longer serve you. And that is part of the challenge here that I'm seeing. Um, and we have focusing on career. I mean, you might be focusing on career. So there's definitely this energy. I mean, she is a very independent energy, whether she's in a relationship or not. She is a card of somebody who has independent thought, independent outlook. She likes her feeling independence, not being too crowded. So there's definitely this energy of you are connecting to your strengths. There is definitely some kind of energy of back in your power here having courage in the face of a situation that you've been dealing with, but improvement is there now. You're seeing the improvement. And it feels like it's this week. Because, I mean, you've got two major arcana in your challenge. Definitely this, this period of feeling in limbo. Uh... Could have been after an ending here. I mean, again, this death card is asking you to emerge, shed an old skin, emerge in your new light now, release the old, out with the old, in with the new. But again, this hanging man feels that you've been waiting for something to play out. I mean, some of you could have been dealing with the tail end of a situation, just waiting for something to play out, waiting for something to finally finish here. So it might well be that's what you've been dealing with, Libra. But I'm definitely getting this energy. I mean, this is the Phoenix Rising card. It's a cleansing card. It's a cathartic card. But it might well be for some of you that you've been dealing with something that hasn't, hasn't quite ended. Now, whether it's ended physically in your world or whether it's been to do with your own energy in terms of moving on from a situation, you might have been dealing with this. The Ten of Cups with the Seven of Swords can be deception, lack of truth, lies, deceit, stealing, thievery, call it what you will. And it's to do with that Ten of Cups relationships, uh, the blissful relationship, the happy, happy ever after card, having enough, being content on every level. Um feeling like you've met a perfect match but there was some kind of powerful ending and there has been some kind of just waiting for things to line up in how you actually move on from this you know so i'm definitely getting that's your your challenge energy the there is going to be, a spirit is telling you, new love is coming. The situation will improve. I mean, for those of you with financial career opportunities, this can be an opportunity that's close to your heart as well, an opportunity, a creative opportunity as well. So for some of you, that might resonate, Libra. I mean, the Knight of Cups can be an offer of love, but it can also be a loving offer. <laughs> so it can also be an energy that is very close to your heart. So very much to do with creative industries, media, writing, journalism, publishing, um, you know, arts, culture, so on and so forth, uh, expressive industries. Um, and again, this four of coins, in a way, in one, if it's to do with love, it feels like you're cautious, that you might be putting up barriers because of what you've been through before. Uh, this is about go at your own pace, at your own time as well, Libra, in terms of love, romance, relationships. 
If it's to do with a creative opportunity, I feel it's bringing uh, stability, financial stability back to your life. So it feels very beautiful. Uh, but definitely there's some positive energy coming your way regardless. You know, the, the Four of Coins energy is somebody who is cautious because they've lost before. They've lost in terms of value. They've lost in terms of money. You know, what's of value to them? That could be any area. Um, it can also be in terms of material, money, monetary areas. So they're cautious now because they've learnt the lessons of the past. And again, there's this kind of energy that's translating here for you. But nevertheless, there is definitely this energy of bringing security, solidity back to your life. Um, go at your own pace in love, some opportunity that will bring some kind of uh, solidity and security in terms of money career. So it's a lovely energy. This fear, I mean, you know, I'm definitely getting with this moon energy, the fear to take the leap of faith. I mean, certainly in terms of love, romance, relationship, that rings true. And in terms of money, career, I mean, certainly in terms of creative opportunities, opportunities close to your heart, offers, opportunities coming in, certainly in terms of creative, um, loving offers. There's definitely this energy that it's guided to you. This is a card of hidden blessings, this new beginning, even though you don't see the big picture the universe does. And it's almost kind of like there's divine orchestration going on behind the scenes here. You won't know everything, you know. There's definitely this energy of just trust, blind trust, blind faith, to take the leap of faith, to go for something now, you know. It'll be worth the risk. It's definitely that kind of energy for some of you. So I'm definitely feeling there is definitely the, the advice, regardless of what it is, is go for it. Go for it. Because whether you know what this Knight of Cups is offering you is the beginnings of abundance, the beginnings of material gain for some of you, the beginnings of a solid relationship for some of you to build on. I mean, remember the pentacles, the building blocks in your conscious reality. So foundational relationships, career, money opportunities, um, home, you know, the practical physical home. So this can be to do with moving, relocating. Um, yeah, so definitely for some of you, there is some kind of golden opportunity coming your way. And the message is, yeah, go at your own pace. But it'll be worth the risk. Spirit is telling you to take that leap of faith, take the chance, because it's going to be worth the risk. This is something solid, stable, secure. Um, something that you can trust, something that you can build on in whatever respect. Career, financial opportunities, love, romance, relationship. And it could even involve some kind of moving relocation here. But it's definitely linked with abundance and the situation will improve. So I love that energy for that reason, Libra. And it's putting you back in your element. I like these st stabilizing energies. You know, I like the pentacles for that reason. Okay, so what do we have for Libra, please? Angels, spirits, guides, message for Libra. Yeah, we have shine from within, looks are only skin deep, true beauty shines from within. And it's time for you to shine. This is a time for self-acceptance and for revealing your true beauty. There's definitely an energy of accept whatever this is. You have an opportunity to release it, purge it, cleanse it. Finally, release. Because I feel this in one sense, if it's to do with what's gone on with the past and it definitely feels to do with relationships here um it may be putting up barriers here you know so just look out for that i hope you enjoyed the reading libra if you did please do like share and subscribe i hope it's a wonderful week for you all and i will see you next time thank you